All right, hey, it is Monday morning and uh, it is Slappercast Day. That's the name of our, the official band podcast for Blackguards. Uh, Patrick and I, Patrick the lead singer, Blackguards and I just recorded a show and now I've got to go edit it, but I wanted to get something out quickly. <laughs> and I really, I want to update this channel a lot more often and I'm still trying to figure out what my game plan is going to be. But this seems like, you know, there's people say who are, who are trying to lose weight, you know, they say it's good practice to weigh yourself as often as, as, as you can um, every day, preferably, so you can keep an eye on things. And I kind of think maybe I should update the channel just about as often as I'm weighing myself. And uh, no no new weight to report. Although, actually, I guess there is, because I didn't talk about it in the last video. Uh, I only put it in the show in the, in the description. But yeah, I'm, I'm about 200.8 pounds now. About 201, really. But I, I'm thinking pretty soon I'm going to be below 200. I'm just not quite there yet. Um, but very quickly, when I posted that last video, which was entitled, Every Day Can't Be Perfect, my friend, uh, one of my friends commented on it when I posted it on my Facebook page, saying that, in that video I was puzzling over why is it that I'm still losing weight when I'm very frequently going over my daily caloric budget. As, as it is calculated by the Lose It app that I'm using to track my calories. Uh, and my friend suggested that it probably was something called what, what is referred to as zigzag dieting, or um, I think there's another term for it too, like shift eating, or I, I forget exactly, but it basically just means you, you're not eating the same amount of calories every day, that you're, you're staggering it from day to day. Which just makes sense that you would want to do that anyway, because I, um, that probably is one of the pitfalls of calorie counting is that if you if you set if you're not figuring in exercise and things like that, if you if you figure out how many calories you need to eat eat every day to to uh, maintain a caloric deficit that's big enough for you to lose weight over over a certain period of time, it probably is not a good idea to eat like if you figure out that's maybe 2,100 calories. Or 1,800 calories, whatever it is, and you and you go about eating exactly that many calories every day. That definitely, probably, definitely, probably, probably not as a good idea because there is apparently this thing called adaptive thermogenesis that happens in our metabolisms, where your body will, once you've reduced your your caloric in intake to a certain amount, your body will adjust to it, and your rate of fat loss will either slow down or stop, or both. Um, so the, the, from the limited understanding I have of it right now, cause I haven't had time to go and research this, that, uh, if you're staggering your calories from day to day, some days you eat 1800, sometimes you eat 1900, a little bit less, a little bit more, maybe sometimes a lot more, um, that'll keep your body on its toes as it were. And you won't, um, you, so you won't plateau. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> the, the thing is that the people who, that from the little bit I've had a, had a chance to look into, that the people who are touting uh, zigzag dieting as a thing, they're not recommending, they're not saying it's okay to go over budget all the time, which is what I've been doing. So in fact, I, I probably should put some screenshots and I don't know if it's gonna be this video, but at some point I wanna show you exactly what my, my uh, what my charts look like from over the past few months. And on average, I've been over calorie, I've been over budget like almost the whole time. And it's not from day to day, but just on average, like since the only months, the only months that were that where I was consistent or on average where I was under budget or on budget, under on or under budget was in uh, July and August, the very first two months that I was doing this. Ever since September, I've just been just all over the place. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of puzzled as to why this is still working. I mean, you could say too that the, the amount of calories that I am eating is still enough to lose weight, but it's just, you know, it's more, I'm probably not losing weight as quickly as I would. Otherwise, you know, I still think that, that lose it, the lose it app is underestimating what my basal metabolic rate is. I, I can't think of any other consistent or any other ex explanation that really covers the whole story. So, um, another thing I'm, I'll get to get into this in another video, but another thing that I've been toying with is, is intermittent fasting, which 
there has been a lot of science done uh, uh, behind that. Or, yeah, there have been a lot of studies on that to um, to support it, and I'll get more into that later. But um, I've been sort of embracing the principles of, of intermittent fasting here and there without actually completely adhering to it. That's basically what I'm going to get around to. It's like, okay, so maybe I am zigzag dieting a little bit. Am I going to go and actually embrace the principles of zigzag dieting or, or actually practice it strictly? No, <laughs> because whatever it is that I'm doing, I don't know what to call it, but it's working. So I'm not, I'm not going to change anything. The, the only thing I'm, I'm, I am endeavoring to do right now is to try to try to actually make an effort to stay within budget because it does make me a little nervous in the long run. I don't think it's, it's probably better that I try a little harder to stay in budget. Uh, maybe I'll see a little bit more progress. Although again, I'm not in any big hurry. But anyway, um, those are just my quick thoughts right now. I got to run out the door and get some work done. And, uh, but I'll, I'll be checking in with you, uh, hopefully very frequently from here forward. So, all right. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye.